Hi and welcome to another episode of Hair of FC here in Vanilla FM. And today we're going to take a look at the final match of 2031-2032. Actually, I'm recording this audio in post because I recorded all of this video and I realized at the end that I didn't turn on my mic. So here I am and I'm going to talk you through what I'm showing you on the screen. So here I'm showing you that um, we didn't get re relegated, we finished in 16th and um, we had a brief spell of um, going up to 14th, but mainly stayed around the relegation zone. But we managed to stay above the relegation zone, um, especially with a with a, a better better performance towards the end of the season. So we are going ahead to um, the season 2032-2033 with some healthy finances and still in the Premier League. Um, here I must be talking about the improvements to the training facilities. So they are now state of the art and the stadium expansion is also in planning. Um, the prediction was about 2k, but you'll see at the end of the episode, the actual expansion gets, a lot, gets announced and, um, and it's not that much. Uh, we still have a lot of transfer budget left, 11 million. Uh, in fact, in the new season, which I've already started playing, one of the objectives that the board set was um, to spend all of our budget. So I did my best to do that. And um, I'm not really sure what I'm talking about here. I guess that I'm showing you that the, the dynamics are good, the support is good. But I can't quite remember what I was talking about back here. We had a really good group and they held together pretty well and to 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 avoid the relegation we had a really good youth intake i'm sad to say that since since i'm sh i'm showing this they um two of them have been poached one of them by tottenham one of them by arsenal um so they have been poached i wasn't able to keep them so i've received about half a million for each of them with some uh, bonuses and clauses for the future as well the last match was against tottenham uh, if I remember correctly, we ended up losing it. Um, so, uh, while that is all happening, I'm going to attempt to talk to you about some other things that happened as well. Uh, and I'm going to try to put some screenshots on the screen as well to show you what is happening. So, one of the things that happened, uh, I think I showed you in the previous episode how we got our first Wonder Kid. I didn't actually realize that we already have in our squad. If you look at the midfielder position, Bello Womini. I didn't realize how good he was compared to the rest of the world. He's actually um, Nugent 53 of, um, let me just check, is it Europe? No, in the world, he's uh, the best, f so he's, he's been quoted in the best 50 wonder kids in football and he's number 43. So he's a really, really good player. We kept him on for this season. I'll try to remember to put another screenshot of um, his stats and so on screen now. So, um, so that, that, oh, that, that happened. I was very glad to see that happening when the news item pop up, popped up. The um, other bit of news is that we had, well, I had a job offer from Arsenal. So Arsenal has been in touch to... Um, uh, you know, see if I want an interview with them. Obviously, I rejected it because this whole premise, uh, this whole um, series is all about Hereford. But it's great to see that Arsenal, you know, want me as as their as their um, as their manager. They've been at the top of the league pretty much all the time. Um, obviously, Man City's been the most consistent, but Arsenal's been up there as well. So I'm starting to be noticed by really, really high-profile clubs including national teams. I was offered two jobs uh, in national teams, one from Italy with a lot of money and one for slightly less money for France, while France was still number one in the world. Now they're number two because they haven't played matches for a while. Bra Brazil has overtaken them. I haven't actually played any matches with France yet, but I am the national manager for France, which will be fun to get into in the following episode, just to kind of have a little look at that. Um, some other news as well, we got featured in the signings of the season, three of our players were featured in that. Harry Sutar, which since has left the club, sadly, 
uh, he decided to go play for France, didn't renew his contract. So we, we spent a lot of money getting him and then we ended up not getting any money back for that transfer, which is really sad. Obviously, Belluomini, like I just mentioned, he was also one of the transfers of the season. And the uh, Bulgarian defender, Vel Velinov, he also was featured in the um, transfers of the season as well. Did I miss anything? Got loads of wonder kids. I can't wait to show you what the new squad looks like, so that'll be the next episode. I think that's it, really. So, um, what else can I talk to you about? Obviously, the finances are really, really, really healthy. Um, the club is making roughly about six million a month in pure profit. So that is going to allow us to have a, a very, very nice transfer budget. I think in this bit of the video, I'm showing you um, sort of the players that we're going to keep and not going to keep. So obviously we're going to keep the two goalkeepers. Uh, they are on loan, but they're both under a uh, mandatory fee. So they're both going to join at the end of the season. Although one of them, as you'll see in the next episode, I'm going to actually turn a profit from him. Uh, we're going to lose uh, some other players due to retiring, retiring and also uh, loans. I thought there were a few more loans, but I can't see any in that list at the moment. Obviously, I already told you about Harry Sutar, which I'll mention again in the next season. What uh, An interesting one is Georgios, the uh, striker. He left be because he's retiring and he didn't want to renew his contract, but he ended up not finding a club to play for his, in his retirement year. So ended up signing back for free with us uh, on a smaller contract. So we ended up actually keeping him on for next year and um, not pay as much for him, which is, I guess, a good good business. I wanted to get someone better to go alongside um, Emra, but I wasn't able to find... Um, well, I was able to find lots of players, but obviously none that we could afford. But players were, were willing to join. Uh, we just didn't have the, the finance to do it. We only had 30 million to play with, plus a couple of other bits and bobs. And a lot of the loans that we ended up doing were quite, quite expensive. So I'll, I'll show you that in the next uh, episode. So we're in, the, ha in uh, the second half of this game. We're losing 2-0 to Tottenham. Um... I think I mentioned as well when I was recording the episode about that terracing that you see on the side of the pitch behind the goal. So the reason it's always empty is because the Premier League doesn't allow terracing. Yeah, it has to be all seaters. So that's one of the conversions that we can do. Although it's going to be a little bit weird. <laughs> I will uh, mention it in a minute. But yeah, so the the stadium's going to get converted to have seats on that side of the um, of the uh, of the pitch. But that is why it's been. Uh, empty. Although there's a bit of a bug because even when I play cup matches and fans are allowed to sit there, the attendance is still the same. So the attendance doesn't really change whether or not I'm using the terracing, which is a bit weird. There's some sort of bug going on in there. The other thing that you'll see it's weird is the prize. The, the So obviously I'm going to finish in 16th, that's regardless of the result of this game against Tottenham. And I thought that, uh, well according to the table in the rules page, um, I thought that everyone between I think 8th and 17th got 25 million uh, prize money. But actually I don't think that's true. I think... Um, it sort of decreases a little bit as you go down every place, every place, and um, I'm going to end up only getting nine million or so prize money at the end of the season. But that is again another bug because the text doesn't show; um, it just says etc. three dots and then twenty five million. So I thought that was what we were going to get, but obviously not. I guess it makes sense to decrease the prize money ever so slightly with every iteration. Oh, sorry, with every um, place loss. So 
So we did well in that first season not to get relegated. We um, it kind of sets us up now to be able to afford to continue to grow the team, bring in some more development players, maybe a little bit more experience as well, but mainly development. And I'm quite excited to see if I can fit in some of those youth players into our bench. Not like the permanent bench, um, just the kind of backup bench. I always bring in youth players when I have to manage fitness or there's injuries, um, things like that, suspensions. That's why I don't really make an effort to send out my youth players on loan. Uh, the good ones, I mean, obviously I get rid of all the Deadwood. I keep 25 players in, in every squad. So 25 players in the senior squad, 25 players... Sorry, not 25. 22. 22 players in the senior squad. Another 22 in the 21s. And another 22 in the under-18s. And I max out all the staff. Make sure I find the best staff I can. Um... And, um, yeah, so I'll make sure that all those players can get the best development possible. Obviously, including improving all the facilities whenever I can. So we ended up losing 4-0 in this match. And then we're going to hop into the end of season news items. Um... Okay, so let's see what I get to see. So there we go, Arsenal will crown champions and then they offer me a job. That is impressive. There's the 9 million I was, I was talking about. And uh, the rules show, you know, they, they're not really specific. They don't really show, you know, the place by place. They just say dot, 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 25 million. So I, I don't know, there's some sort of bug that prevents it from being displayed. What else is there to see? Osman got the Youth Player of the Year. That's really good. So that's our goalkeeper. He develops really, really quickly and he's actually doing really well for us this season. Um, and he's French, so maybe I'm going to call him up to the French squad. He's not really good enough to be like the first goalkeeper for France, but I'll keep him in, in the bench. We're going to have 31 million to play with, with half a million wage budget to play with. And what else is there? I've noticed a few bugs with these as well, with like incorrect information so I'm wondering if because obviously I never updated the I never restarted I mean I've never restarted the save since the beta so there might be a few beta bugs that persisted that didn't go because some of the bugs you have to start the save again to um, for those bugs to go away if you keep on the same save some of those things, some of that incorrect information will persist. So I've noticed a few things here with uh, competition awards is one of them. So that is wrong. Emre didn't get the uh, the top goal scorer of the year. Um, he was one one goal away from that. And that is from last year anyway. That's from the Skybet Championship League. So that is that's a bit that's a bit of a weird one there. So yeah, the goalkeeper did really well. He got a few uh, fan awards. Uh, Christian got the signing of the season and also the goal of the season. Emre with 13 goals. Goal scorer of the season and only 5 assists for Riley. So he was, as far as goal scoring, obviously because we were struggling near the relegation zone, we didn't have a, a very high numbers for any of those stats. Got a couple of players back in, put, put into the um, best 11. Got an increase in following and a decreasing family uh, 
local uh, family supporters. But we still have a you know a good amount of favorable supporters. So obviously fair weather, they're a bit flaky, so they only support us when we're doing well. So it's not nice to have a lot of them. But we still have a healthy proportion. The majority of our supporters are still going to going to support us regardless of performance. So that's good. We're going to go off to Singapore on our training camp. And uh, we did go and it was it was nice. I've already played that bit. It was very nice. I also played some of the teams that were touring the area. I think Everton bring comes to mind, maybe Newcastle as well. Oh, and this one I I think I, I thought I did well in saying, you know, you're going to have to work hard to prevent relegation next year. But for some reason that annoyed them. They're saying there's no chance we're going to not get relegated. And I'm like, yeah, that's what I said. What is, what is wrong? Again, so there's some sort of bug where they get annoyed. They still think the same thing you're saying, but they get annoyed because there's, there's something wrong. There's just something wrong in that. In that, I don't like the way interviews and meetings and discussions happen in Football Manager. It's it's a bit like a lottery. You just you don't know what to say, and they get upset, and you don't understand why they get upset because you kind of said what they liked anyway. But anyway, it's a bit weird. When is the stadium expansion going to appear. It must be the next news item. Let's go along to the next one. There we go. And this is the comical bit. We're going to spend £154,000 on 50 seats. 50 seats. I was promised 2,000 seats. And they're going to give me 50 seats. Why couldn't they just get 50 chairs from Ikea and save a load of money? 50 seats. So that, gosh, what is that? That's like, that is £3,000 a seat. There must be really special seats. Really, really special seats. And I think it's coming to the end now of the um, the video here. Um, I, <laughs> I forgot to turn on the mic. So when I was going to edit this, I realized, oh no, there's no audio. What am I going to do? I can't record it again because obviously I kept playing after that. So I was like, well, I'm just going to have to do a voiceover over it. Um, oh, I didn't remember this bit. So the club cleared the debts. We got 54 in the bank. And they decided to pay some debts. Oh, we still have a mortgage to pay. It's about £8,000. But all of the other debts have been cleared and paid off. Um, we've got some new sponsorships as well. That's the next slide. Um, telecommunications company. So that is a healthy amount. I think we've got about 12, 000, 12 million pounds in sponsorship money. Or thereabouts. And we're going to have a healthy scouting budget as well. Uh, which means I can just keep it on the world and keep my scouts um, scouting all over the world. Actually, I need to sort that out for this year. I haven't. I've. I've just remembered as I'm recording this that I hired all the scouts I want for this year, but I haven't assigned them. So some of the ones that persisted or replaced other scouts, they have assignments to get on with. But new scouts above the number that we had last year, they won't have any. Um, assignments. So I'll need to go and sort that out. Uh, there we go. I'm still baffled by the 50 seat exp uh, expansion. Um, it's, it's more like a, a conversion really of the... the numbers don't even add up. It's all, it's all bad. So anyway, but I've asked already, so in the future, I asked for another stadium expansion. So it's in planning. And they did promise me 2,000 seats again. So let's see if they actually deliver those 2,000 seats eventually. And um, it's quite, you know, talking about the future as well. The beta. It's been announced. Miles has announced. 
how the new game is going to look. They they've shared some screenshots with us and some features. So I will promise to play the beta, and um, obviously we're going to keep on carrying um, on playing twenty twenty four until then. But um, yeah. Uh, you'll have to come back and check out with me beta for 2025 whenever I get my hands on it. Thanks so much for watching until the end. I'm going to record now the next episode. And uh, yeah, we'll have two episodes to go this week, which is amazing. Thanks so much for watching until the end and for all the support. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.